This is Rebel Radio. I'm Scott Davidson. We are now joined live uh, in Texas by Jonathan Jordan, and his name his name of his band is called To Whom It May. What's up, Jonathan? Hey, what's going on, man? That's Jonathan Jordan, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Jordan. I can't read my own writing. Jonathan Jordan, <laughs> and you play guitar and vocals in the band To Whom It May. When did you guys start? Uh, man, we've been around for about four years now, so we started kind of in the, the end of 2014. Now, how did the band start? You guys uh, all over sure, from the neighborhood? or? Man, we had uh, a lot of projects that we kind of jammed together off and on throughout kind of our whole youth and everything. Uh, the drummer and myself have had a project together for the last 20 years in various forms. And this was kind of the culmination of all that. You know, it was just kind of we said, hey, you know, we want to do it one time and learn from all of our mistakes and try to write a record we really love. And that was, that was the beginnings of it. How would you describe your sound to someone... Uh, who you, you're, you're out at a concert and, and, and you're seeing some other band, and they go, hey, man, what's your band to whom it may sound like? What would you say? Um, I think that the first thing we try to get across is that the most important thing to us is groove. Um, and outside of genres, you know, I think genres can kind of scare people off sometimes. It does. And I, yeah, I think that the biggest thing for us is there's certain parts of every genre that we love, and we like to try to put them all together but not make them feel like a Picasso. So to speak, you know, we want it to feel natural. So the most important thing to us is we just groove. We have heavy moments. We have soft moments. But through the whole time, you never lose the groove to find the note, you know? Now, in uh, in the metal circles, you hear groove, you hear Texas, you think Pantera, right? Oh, yeah. They got a great groove. <laughs> That's a good one. Now, what, what part of Texas are you guys from? We are in, off of an island off the coast of Texas, actually. I know that might blow some minds. That sounds cool. <laughs> There's islands in Texas. What's that? What's it called? Oh, yeah, I guess its name would probably help, too. Galveston. It's Galveston, right I've heard of that, yeah. About an hour. How far from Houston? It's about about an hour south of Houston, and we're about five hours south of Dallas. So you guys are on an island. Is there any places to play on this island? If there are, I'm going to go check it out. Uh, yeah, man, you know, sometimes there are. It's really always going to be kind of a um, an underground show. That's kind of the cool thing about the island lately, especially there's been a lot of underground music kind of popping on the island. I know a lot of places, actually, a lot of underground <laughs> scenes are kind of coming back up, and it's been really strong here in Texas, for sure. You know, kind of, and it goes back to the Pantera days almost, you know, the same kind of vibe. So everything on the island, there's no real big venue to play at, but most, like, there's a VFW hall, I think they even rent out, and bands will pack it out. We usually play in the Houston area when we're playing locally, or we're on the road. So what you go, of course, you guys travel to Houston or San Antonio or Dallas, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We play all around the Texas area, Louisiana, Oklahoma. We travel as far as Michigan. You know, we play all over the state. We really don't, you know, we don't discriminate, man. We're ready to play anywhere with anyone. That's a good That's a good add, too, because a lot of bands around here in Chicago, they're like, man, I'm not playing there. I'm not going first. I'm not going last. Uh, to me, it is. I play drums in the bands, too. You got to play where you play. You check it out. If you want to play it again, it's up to the band, you know. But at least give it a chance. Hope you're playing in front of new people. And, uh, you know, check out the venue, see how the sound is, see how the lights are on stage, all that stuff, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I think uh, the best thing is for us is, like, sometimes those little shows, they turn out to be the funnest ones, you know? I mean, that's, it's all about vibe at the end of the day, right? Yep. I'd rather play a little show and have the people really getting into it than to play a big show and people just yawning in the back, not caring, you know? 100%. 100% all the time. Now, the band is called To Whom It May. Who thought that name and where did the name come from? That was actually uh, our drummer, Dexas. That was kind of a... A pet project of his, in a pet project name of his, for um, during the time we had another previous band, and when we started this new project, we were all kind of coming up with band titles, and like we just were racking our brains, and he kept pulling this. Well, actually, he wasn't even pulling it out. We kept going back to his idea. What about the human May? He's like, I don't know, and it just kind of stuck, you know. I, it's I think definitely the different. Idea at the end of the day, was if corn can make the word corn with a K popular and like a brand then i guess anything could work you know it's just <laughs> how hard you push it so it's definitely yeah, a, a okay. different name now uh you're on facebook right go to the yes, facebook sir, page yeah. how can we tell our listeners to find you guys uh you got facebook yeah you're on youtube yeah we have all the media outlets like social uh social media outlets like uh, twitter facebook youtube instagram um you can just go to actually our uh website to net, and that has like kind of access to everything we've got out there and uh, we just released a new music video as well um, for the song Calculate, and that's going to be on our YouTube as well. Now, you're on a record label called G4L Records, right? Yeah, G4L Records. And uh, how did they find you guys? Oh, we did some dates at the end of 2017 um, with Candlebox. 
and it was about four or five days in the Texas area. We did like the regional thing with them, and it was just cool, man. Those guys are phenomenal musicians. Number one, number two, they're just really good people. And Kevin Martin, the singer of Candlebox, is working on this project before our records, and we got talking, and one thing led to another, and we just kind of really hit it off real well, and just started talking about this record that we had kind of already been in the works of working on, and we were looking for the right home. And they just, they said all the right things, and they were the right people, and we just, we took that step, and it's been cool, man. It's been really good so far. Um, I'm not saying them, but sometimes record labels try and tell bands, you know, hey, work on a more commercial sound or this or that. They probably just left you alone, right? Let you do your thing? Yeah, man, actually, they didn't try to change one thing, man. The record that we delivered to the label is the record that you can go on to iTunes and buy today. Um, they were really respectful about the, the artistic freedom and that was yeah. kind of the most important thing uh, to us you know we're not interested in trying to chase a fad of any sort you know we're just interested in re- recording and writing music that we really love you know and that's that's the uh the freedom that g4l gave us so we were uh, you know hooked at that this is rubble radio i'm scott davidson we're talking to jonathan jordan he is the guitarist vocalist for the band to whom it may they're based out of galveston texas and uh, a three-piece rock band. Um, did you guys ever think of putting an extra guitar player or anything else, or has it always been three-piece from day one? Uh, in all of our old projects, we used to have, like, we had five guys at one time, then we whittled it down to four, and then it was whittled down to three. So I'm sure the next step is going to be two, and then one, and then eventually it'll just be like a laptop on stage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's uh, no, I think, less I think eagles to deal with. We really love the three-piece vibe. You know, Dexas, Rob, and myself are just, we're family at this point, and, it's kind of like a table, you know, you need that third leg or it just falls over. There's another huge band from Texas that's a three-piece, you know who that is, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> our boys in ZZ. Oh, yeah. That's a, they asked <laughs> Lemmy, hey, Lemmy, if you could be in any other band besides Motorhead, ba- what band would it be? He says ZZ Top. Yeah, it's no-brainer, man. That's, <laughs> that's, I mean, we've got the beards, man. We're ready, dude. Give us the torch, man. We want to hang with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Now, you play guitar and vocals. Of course, guitar started first. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I've been playing guitar my whole life, and vocals are actually a pretty new thing for me. You know, I've always kind of, I've got a familiar ear with it because of working in the studio and writing with previous uh, bands and stuff. But definitely was a new development for me to play and sing at the same time, especially being that, musically speaking, we've always kind of favored the more complex rhythms and stuff like that. What made you start singing? Did you uh, just say, you know what, I'm going to start singing now, or was there a certain thing that happened? It was like evolution out of necessity, really. Um, it was just, a, we were looking for a vocalist, and as looking for a vocalist, I kept writing music, and I started singing the vocals on the demos, and started redoing the vocals on the demos, and it just got to the point where I was like, okay, maybe, maybe we should just try it as a three-piece. And so far, everything's going great, right? Oh, yeah, man. I, I couldn't you know, imagine it any other way. It's, it, it's as limiting as it is to you know, be a three-piece. There's a lot of freedoms that come with that as well, you know? It's it's very easy to communicate with just three people, especially when writing music, you know. And uh, how does the band, to whom it may, write a song? Does it start with a guitar riff with you? Does it start with a, a melody, a lyrics? How does it start? It's different every time, really. Cool. It's a really organic process, which is cool, you know. We just kind of live with the song. Some of these songs I sit on for four years. Some of them happen in 30 minutes, and it's it's so different each time, but it, it's this weird thing. You just It's like you know when it's done, or you know when it's not done, and you just keep chipping away. And it's it's been real uh, atypical and real organic each time, so it's, it's it's a hard one. But I think it's just staring at it for hours on end until it's right. <laughs> what are the plans to push? We have we have a song right here called Calculate. We've been playing, and it's on the uh, the great filter, right? The, yeah, man. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. 2018 <laughs> release. Uh, what's the plans to push this? You're gonna tour. You're gonna uh, do you're doing interviews, of course. That's good. That's a good start. What's yeah, the plans? Man, we're, just, we're getting out there right now. We just. Uh, put the uh, music video for Calculate out. Uh, we just wrapped up some dates on the Warp Tour. We just uh, also confirmed some new stuff for the, the fall time that we haven't announced yet. We're going to be pretty busy in the winter time. Um, everything between now and then, we're doing our CD release September 1st at the Scout Bar in Houston, Texas. And then from there, we're just working on some more um, music videos. We're doing some regional stuff. And we're really prepping for uh, the end of the year. We're going to get back on the road doing some dates with some really cool bands and we really can't wait to announce any uh, all that stuff really soon this is rebel radio scott davidson talking to jonathan plays guitar and vocals are there videos out there for people to see who are listening right now yeah man uh we got our youtube account you can go check out we have a video for ghost a video for calculate and a video for the signal fire and all those tracks are 
going to be on this uh, new record we just released, The Great Filter. Cool. What can you tell us uh, about the local scene, not just where you're living in Galveston, but in, like in, you know, in Texas all together? Texas is hungry, man. That's the cool thing about Texas right now. It's kind of come back to this um, place it used to be probably about 10 years ago. There was a lot of really strong bands. And there's always been strong bands in Texas. Um, but there was uh, about 10 years ago, you had like Fair to Midland, um, Drowning Pool. Those guys were really doing a lot. Um, a decade before them, you had Pantera and things of that nature. Uh, now you've got like our good buddies and nothing more. You know, those guys are blazing new pathways for the whole industry right now. And ourselves, and Big Story, and an author of Poet. Lots of good bands out there coming from Texas right now. It's a cool scene for sure. Now, uh, you just did the the Warp Tour. That was the final Warp Tour. I, mem- I remember promoting that like 20 years ago. It seemed like on Rebel Radio here, and I heard this one was the final one. Is that correct? Yeah, the last one, man. It's uh, it's taken its last voyage, and it was a really cool thing to be a part of it. Everybody that is a part of that crew, it runs. It, it just runs so perfectly. Everybody's really cool. It's like, it's just a machine. What was the reason for the Warp Tour uh, ending? Do you know? Uh, if you asked us about it two weeks ago, it would be because it was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, I think it's just, um, I don't know. You know, that's a, that's a good question. I think there's a risk with some of those outdoor festivals. Sometimes oh, yeah. I know that a lot of, towards the end of the, uh, towards this last year that they did, I know that moshing and stage diving was becoming more and more, of, more and more of an issue. And not because they didn't want it to happen, but because, you know, wrong kid falls, parents sue, the festival, the festival lose a lot of money. You know, I don't know if that's what it was or if it's just the changing of the time. Um, but I like to think that there's someone out there kind of ready to pick up the torch. And those guys have been doing it now, like you said, for 20 years. You know, they've kind of left burned out the mark, I think. And hopefully someone does pick up the torch. Cool. Because I think we definitely need these, like, national festivals to keep that, to keep the youth kind of engaged with new and different artists. Well, Jonathan, I know you probably got other interviews going on. Thank you so much for calling Rebel Radio, and uh, we're going to play a song. But first, what do you want to tell your friends and fans, new fans here in Chicagoland, around the world, before I let you go? Hey, man, we uh, I can't wait to get up there, try your pizza, number one. Number two, uh, awesome. thank you for listening to our record. Thank you for spinning our tune, and thank you guys for uh, having me on today. No problem. Um, just check us out at tohomitmay.net. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. All that good stuff. We'll have a lot of cool news here coming soon. And the pizza here is awesome. I got to say that. I've been, I've been to Texas. <laughs> I played the bank called Earth and Grave. We played Dallas, Texas. We played Austin, Texas. And I tried I tried a pizza everywhere. I tried pizza in California, Florida, New York. Even New York that doesn't compare. And that's because I'm from, from here. Just because uh, you'll see when you taste it. <laughs> uh, I can't wait, man. I'm, I'm going to make take me out for it now, okay, when we for come sure. up there. <laughs> so let me know. You got my number here. So th- stay in touch. <laughs> We're going to play a song, though. What's the song called Calculate About? Calculate is about uh, the main character kind of watching uh, someone he looked up to his whole life, an inspiration, uh, kind of slowly losing faith in themselves. And now the main character has the job of being the hero to his former hero and lifting them back up. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for calling in. Good luck with the band and a new release. Hopefully you'll see you here in Chicago. Hey, man, thank you guys for having me. Here is a song called To Whom It May, Calculate on Rebel Radio.